Now bear in mind, when it comes to movies such as this, all I'm on the mic to say is three words. Go watch it. Easily one of the best horror movies I've seen over the last decade. Even horror movies that I love that have come out over the last 10 years, usually by the end botch themselves due to the fact the director goes for some symbolic artsy farty bullcrap, and it just feels like you're watching someone's ego swell live. This movie's ending is easily the best part of the movie shifts from a horror movie to a thriller with no pause and the only complaint i can even think of reaching for is there's cliches such as nuns and priests but they draw a crowd it's 2024 and it's a horror movie we're more to blame for that than the director and on top of that it stars sydney sweeney i don't know if y'all have noticed she has been a working girl as of late probably took a hefty chunk of the budget and earned every penny let me tell you something one of the most gripping performances since Tony Collette in Hereditary. Uh, but yes, it's universal. I have a lot of resistance to things like this. My mom was old, and she wasn't altogether there at the end. And we were pretty much estranged before that, so it really wasn't a huge blow. But I did love her. And she didn't have an easy life. She had DID, which became extreme at the end, and dementia. And my father died when I was a baby from starvation uh, because he had psychotic depression. And he starved himself, which I'm sure was just as pleasant as it sounds. And then there's my brother. My older brother had schizophrenia. And when he was 16, he hanged himself in my mother's bedroom. Of course, he suicide no blamed her, accusing her of putting people inside him. So that was my mom's life. And then she lived in our house at the end before hospice. We weren't even talking before that. I mean, we were, and then we weren't, and then we were. She was completely manipulative until my husband finally enforced a no contact rule, which lasted until I got pregnant with my daughter. I didn't let her anywhere near me when I had my first, my son, which is why I gave her my daughter, who she immediately stabbed her hooks into. And I just, I felt guilty again, I felt guilty again. And she got sick, not that she was really even my mom at the end, and not that she would ever feel anything and I just don't want to put any more stress on my family I'm not even really sure if they could could give me that support and I just I just feel like, I just sometimes feel like it's all ruined <laughs> and then I realize that I am to blame or not that I'm to blame but I am blamed <laughs> And although I'd say Tony is just slightly better, it's only due to the heartache and content she spoke of in that scene I just showed you. If you're looking for a girl that is performing like she is getting tortured, I quite frankly don't know if you could find a better one. Two jump scares in total, one of which is crucial to the plot. And if you aren't quick on your feet, you will be left in the dust as to what it meant. Just genius. Yeah.